Wandering Winter back with another quick video for another quick single card. Actually, not a card, but a way, because it's whatever. A preview from Dominion Menagerie. This time we've got another way. The Way of the Rat. Or actually, Way of the Rat, because there's no the in front of Way of the Rat. And I'm feeling pedantic today. Can you tell? Um... <laughs> Very simple here, it says you may discard a treasure to gain a copy of this. So remember, this is when you're playing an action card, you do not get the effect of the action if you decide to use the way. But when you're playing an action card, you can choose to discard a treasure and gain a copy of it instead of getting the action's normal effect. Now, a um, couple things. One, for a gainer, like, I don't know, workshop, uh, <laughs> there is, well, a gainer that can gain itself, um, there's just no point, right? Unless, I guess I shouldn't say that. You get to discard a treasure if that's something you want to do. Maybe you want to discard a crown to seed your next turn, and you have a cantrip, and so this lets you discard the crown, and you get a 50-50 to draw the anyway yeah that's I mean it's gonna be very very thin that's one thing another thing is if you have extra deck control say you have you know it's not your last action play so you have at least one action left and then you've got a lab or you could do this repeatedly if you've got you know say a lost city you can um, let's say you've drawn your deck you play whatever action it is that you would like to gain an extra copy of you discard a treasure, so now you have two cards in your discard pile, the discarded treasure and the copy of the card which you gained, and then you can play some kind of draw two to draw them both, and play this action that you just gained. You haven't actually, in that case, you haven't lost anything this turn, because the over, assuming the overdraw wasn't doing anything for you anyway, you haven't lost anything this turn, and you've just gained a free copy of whatever card it was. So that's really nice, and you can keep doing that until the pile runs out, or you run out of draw, or you run out of actions, right? This is going to take extra actions every time, because when you're using the way, you're not getting an action back, regardless of what the action was, right? It could be a mega ooper city, a village, what have you. <laughs> Once you discard it, uh, you're not getting the action back. Now, if you draw it and then play it, like, okay. If it, if it is, if the card itself is Lost City, then, you know, you get an extra Lost City, you play a Lost City. You draw a Lost City, you play a Lost City. You, you know, you can, uh, you actually need extra Lost Cities to chain it indefinitely. But my point is, it's possible to do, maybe. Um, I think generally, though, you're not going to have that much overdraw very often. And it's not like you're going to get to play uh, eight bridges because of um, this effect. So you're just going to, at the end, you're only going to have one in play. You may have gained a bunch of extra ones, but you're only going to have one that you've gotten for its play effect. So I don't think that's going to come up very much because if you have that much overdraw, you probably should have been building differently anyway. But it might come up a bit, and it might be a cheap way to get extra extra pieces uh, once you are overdrawing a little bit, um, and do it you know once or twice a turn probably. Um, the other thing though is sometimes you just say, okay, I'd rather gain a like early in the game, you'd rather gain another copy of a thing than necessarily have its effect, right? Um, I'm thinking with a card like Scrying Pool, especially if I'm close to the end of a shuffle, um, it may be that, you know, let's say I have Scrying Pool, three coppers, and a potion in my hand. I play a Scrying Pool, I'd probably rather discard a copper to get another Scrying Pool than get the Scrying Pool effect if it's early in the game, right? I'm not likely to draw anything anyway or anything worth very much, and gaining an extra Scrying Pool is more valuable in that case. So I think it's going to be, that is probably going, that kind of thing is probably going to be a very, very common usage of this card. Um, 
and or, oh, I don't want to trigger this shuffle. Let me gain another copy of this card rather than just not play it at all. Um, sometimes you can do stuff at the end. I mean, it's a very powerful potential ability, and it also might help a lot with pile control for pile outs. But in general, I don't think this is necessarily as incredibly overpowered as it might at first appear. Uh, but that's it for my scalding hot take of the day. We'll be back tomorrow with another one with the next revealed card or card-shaped landscape thing, etc., etc. Thanks for watching, everybody.